Hello guys, hope you are all doing good. This video is about Power BI in July 2020 update. As you can see on my screen, uh, you have now additional external toolbar within the ribbon. And you can also directly launch Tableau Editor, DAX Studio and LM Toolkit within your Power BI desktop screen. And apart from this, we also got calculation groups. So, which is the most awaited from past two years. I'll also show you a quick example on how we can utilize this and relate to a real time example. So let me just click on Tableau Editor. And one of the best thing is it automatically, you know, identifies the data set you're working for, basically the model. As you can see here, my orders data model is automatically shown up here. I basically have three calculated measures for profit, quantity, and this is for sales. Okay. So you can basically create um, all the calculations, measures, the way you do it in Power BI Desktop. You can do the same thing within the Tableau Editor as well. You can also see the relationships available within your data model. Now let's say I want to build a time intelligence for say YTD, QTD, and same period last year. Okay, so there are various ways to build that, but within the calculation groups, it's pretty straightforward and easy to implement that. And let me quickly show you how we can do that. I'll click on tables, create new, and then click calculation group. Let's call this as time intelligence. The moment I create that, it has two things. One is calculation items, and then the name. Name is basically are the list of values which you want. You can say you, we can probably rename this and call this as say reporting logics. Okay. Now the, the calculation items is the most important piece here, and this is where you add all your custom logics. So let's right click on this and click on new calculation item. Call this as YTD. Okay. Now let's say the formula for my YTD is calculate for the overall measure for dates. YTD is my built in function which pulls the date from order date. Okay. So this is my logic for YTD. Let me rename this. And then let me add another one which is QTD. My logic is remains same, only the function name gets changed here. And then the last one is same period last year. Let me rename that again. We need to hit enter to get that name changed. And the function name gets changed here we have a built-in function for same period last year basically this is just an example you can also use dates between if you have a say you're working for an organization or a client who has a custom reporting week or a custom fiscal year say the custom um, the year starts from uh, April and then ends in March so you can build the customized logic and call that as whatever the variable name you want so just for the demo I have created three calculative logics and we are done with this the next thing we need to do is click on save the moment you do it you can automatically see your Power BI desktop it will give you a pop-up for refresh I click on it scroll down if you see here my new table has automatically come up now what I can do is I'll first add a slicer and choose the names which I created these are the names I created okay and then I'll add a card say I want to show a sales okay this is my total sale value okay now if I choose YTD this is my sale value for YTD this is for same period last year 
this is for QTD okay so this is how uh, you know you can utilize the calculation group and you can add in number of logics over here and you can instead of using it as a slicer you can use it within your calculations within the visualization and uh, let's uh, quickly uh, show you another example of utilizing calculation group let me go back to tabular editor let's say I want to add another calculation group I'll call this as choose dimension uh, choose measures okay. so basically I want to give a option to user to choose any one measure at um, like sales profit I'll say I have 15 to 20 measures and I don't want to put everything in the table it should be dynamically selected from the user in order to do this what we can do is I'll, I'll call all the measure names the profit and then quantity and then sales okay so the logic for sales is actually already have a measure measure value basically this is a sales uh, logic in this particular field has that for quantity we have c hyphen quantity and then we have profit which comes from c hyphen profit we are done let's click on save go back to power bi desktop click on refresh now you can see here choose measures has automatically come up let's add a slice over it give the name now you can see these are my measure names let, let me just uh, rename the name here let me go back to my tabular editor and say this is select measure save it and add it over here now let me unselect this first and select sales so let me select profit so now you can see automatically my measure value is updated so this is my total profit and if I click on quantity this is my total quantity if I click on sales this is my total sales and within that I can also choose now to show data only for QTD if you see here automatically data is getting filtered say I'll I'll choose YTD and then select what would be my total profit so for YTD total profit is 93.44k and you we also have an option to choose basically multiple values within the slicer so say I selected YTD and same period last year this is my total value so hopefully this is uh, one of the useful video for you like and subscribe for more and comment if you have any doubts on this guys thank you have a nice day